Oh no, what in the granddad's allotment? So guys, I thought I would uh, make a short video, a bit of a thank you. Um, everybody's uh, putting shout outs to um, YouTubers that have got less than uh, a thousand subscribers because of the way uh, YouTube's changing the monetary system. That doesn't really bother me because I don't make any money and I don't want to make any money off YouTube. It's just one of them things. So a big thank you. I've had loads of uh, extra subs um, in the last week or so since um, Purple Sweet People a, a shout out for us. And I've had loads of um, new subscribers, probably 60 or 70 new subscribers, which is excellent. So I thought I would just uh, say thank you to all. Uh, my new subscribers and I hope you are uh, enjoying what you're seeing uh, I'll try and make the, the things as best I can um, I thought I would give uh, a few questions to um, to some of those uh, new subscribers and um, a, a bit of a, a round robin type thing for um, all those YouTube people out there so what I'm going to do I'm going to tag five people uh, on at the end of this and I want them to come back and make their own little video um, of these same same five questions, and hopefully we'll get a, a, a bit few more subscribers for, for those channels as well. Um, so the questions I'm, I'm going to ask: um, Why an allotment? Uh, why do YouTube? How long have you had an allotment for? Uh, what you've grown? What's your favourite things to grow? So first of all, why an allotment? Why have I got an allotment? Uh, this allotment was my, my dad's allotment. Um, he's had it for, for 20 odd years. Um, he's always had an allotment as long as I can remember. Uh, so he's been on this one 20 odd years. Um, why YouTube? Um, well, I took this um, allotment over from my dad. Uh, jointly worked with him for a while. But my dad got uh, developed Alzheimer's. Um, and the reason for the YouTube was, when my dad couldn't get down to the allotment, uh, we would video what we were doing and then play it back to him, back at home. Um, so he could see what we are doing and stick his oar in when he, when he needed to and tell us what I was doing right and wrong. Um, so that's the reason why we did YouTube and that's why it's called Granddad's Allotment. Because it's for, for my dad and my son helps us and my daughter helps us as well. Uh, although she's now 15 so uh, she doesn't like being in the garden that much. Uh, but my son helps. So yeah, I've had the uh, this allotment myself for probably um, three years by myself uh, without my dad helping. Uh, my dad only passed away in June last year, um, but he couldn't really come down at all. Um, so I've had it myself three years, but my dad's had it twenty odd years. Um, so what do we grow? Um, Everything that we grow, you know, on an allotment, we do lots of peas, beans. Uh, last year, um, what was it, the year before? The year before, we, we built the fruit cage. So we've got lots of raspberries, strawberries. My dad's always grown loads of strawberries. Um, traditionally, my dad was a, a big leek man and onions, show vegetables and stuff like that. Um, but I tend to grow things that are quite expensive in the shops. Um, I don't grow a lot of onions, I do a few, um, but you know, I, I don't grow many carrots basically because I find it hard to uh, and they're cheap enough in the shops. Uh, I'll, I'll be getting cursed for saying that now. Um, but yeah, I tend to buy, uh, buy and grow things that are quite expensive, so a lot of frost, soft fruits um, and just un some unusual things really. Um, I like to experiment. Um, what's your favourite things to grow? Um, my favourite thing to grow is peas, definitely. Uh, I just love fresh peas off the off the uh, off the plot, and uh, it doesn't even, they don't even get home. Um, you just sit and eat them. It's nothing better than uh, than homegrown peas. I even like pea shoots. Um, I'll, I'll sort uh, if I got um, some dried peas from the, the supermarket. I will just get. Um, some of them, sow them in a tray, let them grow to pea shoots, just cut them off, put them in your salad, lovely. Um, let me shout out to five people. 
Um, so these are some I've su subscribed to for, for quite a while, some I've just sort of come across since they've subbed me. Um, Torsi Woolridge's ki Kitchen Garden. Excellent, she's, she's really good. Um, she's, she's got a degree in horticulture. Uh, she's got massive greenhouses and you know the, the full kit and caboodle, the, the garden that she, she has is is lovely. Um, she's only got 88 sub subscribers, she's been on YouTube um, over a year from what I can see. Um, but she's got some excellent, excellent videos you really need, to, that's one you definitely need to check out. Um, 50 Shades of Green, um, great guy, um, both great guys on there. Um, they do a lot of stuff, updates regularly, and he always comments on um, on my videos. Um, always nice comments, so that's that's really good. Um, another new one which I've just come across, uh, Bod's Allotment. Quite a funny guy. Um, another one you need to check out. Um, Dean Hood. Um, he's uh, another local guy to me. In fact, he lives in the same town. And he passes my allotment quite often. He's um, he's subscribed. He's um, been subscribed to me for a long time, uh, and he's always commented because he, he he knows me allotment and he, and he walks past it quite often. Um, but I didn't realise he had started doing his own videos. Um, he's only got seventy eight subscribers. He's a, he's a young lad, uh, and he's doing fantastically well in his allotment from what from what I'm seeing. Uh, he's got some really good stuff on there. Um, and the last one, uh, Purple Sweet Pea Louise, um, she started it all off by getting some uh, some extra subs for us. Um, she lives not far away from me, Middlesbrough, so my neck of the uh, woods, or northeast anyway. Yeah, um, and she gardens uh, with her with her kids as well, which is great. I, I you know I fully support getting the kids down on the plot and um, and getting them involved. So yeah, that's my five. Um, I'll put them on the, the video at the end, but uh, Torsi Waldridge, Fifty Shades of Green, Bud's Allotment, Dean Hood and Purple Sweet Pea. If you all want to um, do your five little questions and then pass it on uh, and try and uh, nominate five others that we haven't got uh, and we'll try and get more subs for every, everybody. Okay, see you later. Right guys, I've just been having a bit sort out my seeds. Um, this is just uh, just be peas and beans. Um, the, I've got far too much. Uh, these have been kicking about for a while, so you know I got them last year. So there's some so by 2017, some from before that. Um, if anybody wants any runner beans. I've got loads of packets. I'm not going to sort all of these and probably be knackered by the end of um, this year. Uh, so they are some some of out of date. But if you want to chance them, if you PM us, I'll uh, I'll post them out to you uh, just to get rid of them, get them used. I'll probably plant loads up um, and just chance them. Um, and if they take the take, um, I'll use what I can and I'll just give the rest away to different people on the allotment. That's I suppose. Uh, I normally just stick a help yourself table out, um, and people take what they want when I've uh, when I've used what I need. So just thought I'd show you show you the peas and the beans. Um, we've got loads. Of, I've got more at home as well because I've, I've I've just bought some more peas. Uh, peas I'll use because I, I grow loads of peas. Um, beans. I'm probably only going to do two types of runner beans. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure whether I'm going to do broad beans this year because the black fly got them last year. Um, so I might give them a miss. Um, I'll probably do some uh, dwarf sort of French beans and, and stuff. Um, I've got yellow ones and purple ones, so I'll probably do that. I'll not buy any more of them. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know. So if anybody wants any, just. Uh, Send us a message and I'll uh, stick you some in the post. See you in a bit. Now, guys, I'll just show you what I've been up to. Just a bit of um, seed sown. So that's all my chilies in and um, peppers. 
um, and that one I've got um, some more chilies, more peppers, me uh, aubergines, okra, and Cape gooseberries. Uh, these three, three different trays of radish, and the ones in the pots there, giant radish. Uh, we'll see how they go. So that's it for today. I'll uh, just quickly show you the garden. Where I go. So not a lot changed, but hopefully get back on Sunday. Do a bit more. Oh, looks doing well. Please with that. Elephant garlic's not all. Oh, oh, it is. Look. Starting to come. Starting to come. You can see them there. But. It's starting. Anyway. Right, guys. See you later.